It is sad but true that in the pantheon of stars, those that are loved most fervently are often those who are no longer with us. Heath Ledger's name has now been added to the roll call of young stars who have tragically passed away at the height of their fame, leaving their movies behind as a monument to their talent and a reminder of what they might have gone on to achieve. Perhaps the most iconic of movie stars who have died in their prime is James Dean, who was killed in a car accident aged just 24. His brooding gaze has been immortalised in countless artworks. Likewise, the James Dean look, tough, sexy, yet boyish and vulnerable, is constantly reimagined by international fashion designers, as in this collection by Jasper Conran. In 2005, 50 years after his death, his enduring appeal was celebrated in a documentary. James Dean, Forever Young, included personal recollections of a star that lived life on the edge. I was a freelance photographer working for Life magazine at that time, 1955. And on my way to their editorial office on Sunset Boulevard, coming through the red light was a crazy on a motorcycle. And he careened his bike, I careened my car, and I came within inches of killing him. Perhaps I should have killed him. I could have become internationally famous as the man who killed James Dean. However, we got to be friendly, actually, and that gave me an entree into his private world. James Dean was the first actor to receive a posthumous Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. While rumours of an Oscar nomination for Heath Ledger's work in The Dark Knight led to inevitable comparisons between the two young actors, Heath's co-stars prefer to remember their late friend for his work rather than his honours. I think that Academy Awards can be great and feel great, but I think, you know, when you're thinking about Heath right now and a, a whole life, it's, it's not what I'm thinking about, you know, but I do think he's extraordinary. Although he never worked with Heath, the young star's death moved director Rob Reiner to comment on such a terrible waste of a life. It's really tragic when somebody who is as gifted and talented is cut down at the early part of their career because we always think about uh, what more they could have offered uh, the world in terms of their talent. So, I mean, it, it's, it's sad and, you know, we all, you know, it's very, just very, very sad. The music industry, too, has more than its fair share of sad tales of young lives lost at the beginning of brilliant careers. Heath himself was fascinated by a young singer-songwriter who died before his time. Um, for the longest time, I was obsessed with an artist by the name of Nick Drake. He, he died in the 70s, 1975, at the age of 25. Suicide. Um, and I was uh, obsessed with his story and his music, and I pursued it for a while and still have still have hopes to kind of tell his story one day, but it, they, it kind of died away, faded away, because I, it was a very mysterious figure, and um, I felt like I would be taking too many liberties. Like Nick Drake, Heath has left us with a small yet brilliant body of work, which gives us a glimpse of what he may have gone on to achieve. Many believe that an actor of Heath's ability could have gone on to forge a career not unlike that of screen legend Paul Newman, who also passed away in 2008. The Academy Award-winning superstar who embodied cool in films like HUD, Cool Hand Luke and The Color of Money, passed away on September 26 after a long battle with cancer. Sadly, Heath will never bequeath a legacy as deep and rich as Paul Newman but he is no less of a legend to those that have been touched by his work. Few feel Heath's loss so keenly as his co-stars on The Dark Knight, a movie of which Heath was very proud, but never lived to see its premiere. I anticipate um, a, a lot of honor and, um, uh, you know, obviously sadness and uh, a, a missing, but um, really this film is, uh, it's dedicated to Heath because Heath, Heath's heart and soul was into this movie. 
and his performance shows it, and we need to honor him in this movie, and rightly so. So I think it'll be um, obviously uh, a bittersweet moment. Like James Dean, Heath Ledger will be remembered frozen in time, forever young, beautiful, and gifted.